Okay, so we have the, the container here to create our program. So we need to use the permutation process um, based in module 12. But here, um, we have here the JavaScript for that. Now we can use the random functions of JavaScript. Now what is that function? That is the pre-built-in function of the program. So we declare the variable x and we use the mat.floor. And of course, we have the mat.random times 10. Uh, we need to generate 10, um, what you call these permutations numbers. At the same time, when we display the variable, variable value of x, it will generate from 1 to 10. Oops, we have here an error. I think there's a wrong spelling right here instead of using the mat that floor we use the mat that float so we run again the program we have the value of 9 10 so that is what you call the program thank you to meet you to hear the source code of the program this is the solution of the assignments that i give to you so we have here the javascript codes and this is the output let us apply the 308 or 307 so we have here the container html javascript and says forget about the css we are here to use the elements at the same time we uh, declare the ids so that this will be used as part of our JavaScript output so we have here the sample now one of the example is to print the hello world we can use the document object model by using the alert command so that we can display that hello world okay so i think we have already reviewed this last time thank you we have the previous program so let this time around we create what you call this the button so we have the objects for the button and you create the wall as functions so we have here the reserve word for uh, we have here the, co the commands for the javascript that's add click and we have to uh, check our program so we create functions for val for that to match with our uh, val uh, data in our html to be declared first the bar x purpose of this x is to create the random numbers that will be included later on in our what main program that is in our id that is the demo thank you Okay, let us run our program. Okay, when we run it, well, of course, we have still there what you call is the alert command that display your output. Now, uh, we have the error. The error is we did not match the functions of wall1 to the wall1 function of the script. So we need to uh, check it out and then re remove it. Now, we have another error here. What's the error? Maybe we misspelled the word random, so we need to replace uh, mat.random to mat.random. Okay, so when we put the numbers there, we can generate numbers. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, tingnan muna natin kung takbo yung program natin. So, we need to arrange first the placement of our button. So, we have here the output. Okay, let us first, in, the purpose of that erase button is to reset the information. So, we need to check our um, variable. So, variable is form x that, uh, form x, okay. We assign the form x document that forms. Document is the part, is the object, um, objects of your JavaScript. So, the forms is just like a subclass. So, we have the name of f1 as a form and name as a value of our input. So, we need to use the form x to run the program. So, kung input natin yan, we change the variables and then we run it again. So, every time that we enter the data right there, it will generate uh, random numbers no? for the value that you have entered. Thank you. The previous example, I speak so fast because they want to save the memory of my computer. That, uh, that is the truth. No? But again, we let, let me explain first. We have here the two, the three dockers, HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. So, what is in this, in this program? We have two programs only. We have the functions. Uh, we have the F1, uh, F1 form and we have here what we call this the variable name one. And for the JavaScript, we have the variables for X. This is a global variable, so this is accessible in the entire program of your JavaScript. So, we have the document, that document that forms. This is part of your do DOOM. No? So, forms is the syntax for the F1. And of course, we have the, the name one as part of the value. Value is part of the input process. Yung ano na yan, yung reset button na yan, pag nag-enter ka sa, ano, sa, sa HTML as part of your elements, i-erase na yan. No, basic na yan. So, but if we enter our own data, so we need to assign x as a variable in the value because x is what's document that forms and x is the numbers of the data that entered in that uh, variable. So, I hope you understand the explanation. This is basic, but again, this is very useful, okay, in your Q methods. Thank you.